Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do Soul Calibur 6 online gameplay with Maxi. Real quick, for every 100 subscriber this channel gets, I'm going to do a $100 giveaway to one lucky subscriber. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so and hit the like button down below. And remember, any donations, big or small, will help the channel grow. Thank you and hope you enjoyed today's video. Alright, let's see who our opponent's going to be. I mean, let's see who we got here. Mitsurugi. Character's name is Rukia? 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 What that name sounds Oh that name does sound familiar. Okay. She is a bleach character, which I will admit I only seen season one. It is one of my anime shows on my list that I need to watch to completion. Wow, this should be a good fight. Matter of fact, let me give you a little little summary about the show Bleach before I get into Maxi's story. But let me see who gets the first hit real quick. Here we go. Oh, okay. Hold up. And they didn't give me no breaks, huh? Hold up. Back up. Yeah, now I'm going to get going. Hold up. I was just testing you out real quick, bro. Alright, so real quick, so... Now, in the show Bleach, right, Ichigo Kurosaki is an ordinary high schooler, right, until his family uh, was attacked by one of the Hollows. As a corrupt spirit that seeks to devour human soul, it is then that he meets the Soul Reaper named Rukia Kuchiki, which, that's the girl. Ooh, I just broke her shirt. Which, that's the girl right there. Now, who gets injured while protecting Ichigo uh, families from the assailant. To save his life, Ichigo accepts Rukia's offer to taking her powers and becoming a soul reaper as a result. And there you go. That's basically like episode one and so on and so on. Now, I did look all this up real quick. Now, it says here, however, as Rukia is unable to regain her powers, Ichigo is given the daunting task of hunting down the hollows that are plaguing their town. However, he is not alone in this fight. And this is where we meet the rest of the characters. And, bro, if I'm not mistaken, the voice actor who plays that arrow guy on that show, which I can't remember his name right now, sounds like Kenshin Hamura from, <laughs> from that TV show. Like, I think it's the same voice actor. I don't know. Someone let me know in the comments if I'm right or wrong on that one. Ooh, final round. Because I'm definitely going to get the broom on yo ass. Ooh, uh, nice special. I'll let you get that. Now it says here, as he later joins the um, his friend's classmate, Orihi, I think that's the guy. Uh, it says here, Yatsutora, Sado, and Yuryu Ishida, who each have their own unique abilities. And it's as Ichigo and his comrades get used to their own new um, abilities and duties and support each other and other on the battlefield. The young Soul Reaper soon learns that the Hollows are not the only real threat to the human world. And like I said... That's all from episode one and or season one or the first couple of episodes. Yeah, it's over for this guy. Special. Yeah, next time bring Ichigo to the fight because you're weak as hell. And you got swept. Deuces. But enough about Bleach. Let's get to the main man himself. Maxi. Uh, let's see who our next opponent is real quick. All right, here we go. Let's see who our next opponent is going to be. Ah, oh, man. Tubi. All right, can everybody in the Soul Calibur 6 universe agree with me that anybody that plays with Tubi, they're just going to be spamming the or button smashing? Like, it's one of the easiest characters to play with with, like, crazy-ass combos. You have to wait, like, six or five hits later in order to then try to fight back. Like, I hate playing people who knows how to play her really well, but let's see what happens here. I think she, like, a little bit too overpowered, man, because she got, like, crazy moves. But I ain't gonna hate. You know what? More The more the challenge, the better. That just has to show that you have to step up your skills if you're trying to learn how to play with Maxi, because um, Tubi is definitely one of the characters with the longest range. I think in the whole game because she could shoot you she could throw her sword from far away I mean not to compare sword sizes but it's bigger than nightmares and sick free all right that's all I'm saying if not then they're probably the same size 
but she could throw her shit from like half the battlefield like from look at that and she took round one all right now see now you pissed me off you're making me look bad now but hold up like i said let's get to maxi sword real quick as we play along so real quick so in soul caliber right soul caliber maxi is known as the dandy of the south sea now that just reminds me of like <laughs> one piece like you know how they come from like one side and then they'll go to the other side yeah i'm i'm actually an episode like 500 and something like one piece is another show that i try to watch and whoever's a one piece fan i'm sorry to say like you guys have some good arcs but man everybody hates and uh, talks crap about naruto have being like the king of fillers but one piece is the king of arc fillers like i literally saw 20 episodes of a fucking arc that had no sense where they could have just boiled it down to like maybe five to ten episodes and that was the skypea arc like that's one of them i mean yeah you see the whale you fight the the thunder god and whatever whatever but other than those two things like that shit had nothing to do with the real main story like come on guys you guys killed me with that shit and i stopped watching it then i started re-watching it when they met brooks so and then i finally got to see the arc of ace so that was pretty good like one piece has a lot of good arcs but man they have so many boring ones as well but i made it guys i made it to episode 500 and the good news is that by 500 not not only is the animation getting way better but now i guess they're learning from their mistakes and it's getting like more legit so if anyone is trying to watch one piece just bear through it i know that if you're watching an anime oh nice i won this series with this lady i know if you're watching any anime like you shouldn't have to like bear through it it should just be fucking good but one piece man you have to bear through that shit like the the crocodile saga was really really good but leading up to that point was fucking stupid um the robin when they had a rescue robin from the marines headquarters that shit was good but also the leading up to it was fucking boring like come on guys i don't know any one piece fans out there i'm sorry if you're offended but those gotta agree man some episodes we could have done without Holy shit, I'm about to almost finish my thing. I ain't talk nothing about Maxi. Poor Maxi here. Being outstaged by anime. Alright, so let me just read straight through. I'm not even going to say nothing else. Alright, so Soul Calibur 6. Um, Soul Calibur. Maxi's known as the Dandy of the Sea. Following the Maxi's debut appearance, fans and critics initially described him as an updated version of Lay Long. Uh, would have been if he had returned. Despite the fact that both characters have different fighting styles, Maxi's ending is similar to Lei Long's in Soul Ledge, in that they both apparently die despite being victorious over their enemies. Yeah, that don't make no sense to me neither. Maxi had a second special weapon demonstration where he uses the dual nutchucks um, instead of one, which would later be used by Lei Long in Soul Calibur 3. Maxi's bonus costume resembles uh, Kenshiro from the Fist of the North Star, which I'm not sure if that's an anime movie or a TV series. I gotta look into that because I haven't seen it, but I heard about it. Now it says here, because uh, eventually uh, both are based on Bruce Lee using nutshells and have high pitched cries in battles for fighters or even killers. Everybody copies Bruce Lee. Come on, Tekken, we have Law who fights like Bruce Lee. Like, come on, guy. Yo, I would love to see a fight between Maxi and fucking Law from Tekken. That shit would be a hell of a fucking fight, man. I don't know who I give the edge to on that one. Now, it says here on Soul Calibur 3, um, the soul of Maxi's discipline is available to create characters of the monk class. In the Spanish manual, Maxi is disputed as a girl. Um, depicted it as a girl. So this dude could have been drawn as a girl. Okay. Soul Calibur 4. In Killick's fourth stage, after he defeats Tira, he fights Maxi, who has become the new host for Soul Edge. He wields the evil sword in the form of the Nutchucks. Uh, also, his hair is silver and his clothes are black. Maxi is one of the few characters who actually says the names of their critical finishes. Because <laughs> he's conceited. <laughs> Uh, let me see here. His theme, Let My Soul Burn, is very similar to his Soul Calibur and Soul Calibur 3 theme, Sail Over the Storm. 
It says here, Maxi seems to have swapped places with Killick in terms of their respective storylines. For example, in Soul Calibur 4, Killick saves Maxi, who was struggling to overcome the influence of Soul Edge. In Soul Calibur 5, however, Maxi is on the quest to save Killick from the evil fate. Uh, it's also interesting to point out that in that previous game after Soul Calibur, Killick always had to travel a companion where Maxi prefers to travel alone. This has also been switched in Soul Calibur 5. Maxi's appearance has not changed in the 17 year gap between Soul Calibur uh, 4 and Soul Calibur 5. This can also be said about Tekken's Lee. That's true. That, that could be said about um, Lee. His character is like basically the same. When he returned in Tekken 4, his appearance was still the same. They just didn't know what the hell to do with him, like for real. It is known if he's known uh, Xavier is killing a strange son. Really? So Calibur 6, uh, his profile is uh, portrayed in the museum. Max's real name is listed as Makashi. That I didn't know. Well, this was the last fight, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. See you guys on the next one.